Hello everybody. This video today is going to be about the maxillary premolars. So this is going to be about the first and the second premolars. First one I'm going to do is just talk about some general facts about the premolars, about the first and the second premolars. And then we'll go through everything with pictures and everything. So uh, we're going to start off with this. Maxillary premolars have roots that are longer than the incisors but shorter than the canines. So the canines have longer roots. The crowns are shorter than canines, but they're longer than the molars. So remember, as you move posteriorly in the mouth, the crown height decreases. Like all maxillary posteriors, they have a trapezoidal shape when viewed interproximally. And then they have incisal gingival contact points in the middle third. All right, so we're going to start on the maxillary first premolar. You'll notice in your study that questions are more heavily weighted towards the maxillary first premolar. So if you get a question and you're kind of iffy on it, not sure, eh, just go for the maxillary first premolar. But don't blame me if you get it wrong because you never can tell. All right, so shape. From the buccal lingual, it's going to be pentagon. From the mesial distal, it's going to be a trapezoid, and then from the occlusal, it's going to be a hexagon with unequal sides. So from the occlusal, you'll see that it looks like kind of like a kidney bean, and you'll see some questions asking about in cross section. It looks like a kidney bean, and that's due to this mesial concavity right here. And so we'll see that in the next couple slides. All right, so size, you'll see a couple questions in regards to the size of this premolar. It's gonna be the largest of all the premolars. And so um, one way that you might see this asked is which tooth has a greater cervico-occlusal crown height? And so they're not gonna make it too easy on you by saying which is the t biggest crown. Okay, so that you might see it asked in that way and you'd have a selection of various premolars and molars. And you'd have to know that this one is has the largest crown. It's actually the largest tooth of the premolars. Okay, so cusps. This has two cusps, one buccal cusp and then one lingual cusp. And something unique about this tooth is the lingual cusp is typically about a millimeter shorter than the facial cusp. So here in the lingual, I just drew this line to show that we've got about a millimeter short here in the lingual. The buccal cusp is slightly to the distal. It's offset to the distal. And so this is going to become a common theme in um, questions that you'll, you'll see questions about the, um, which cusp ridge is longer. And so in this case, the mesial cusp ridge is longer than the distal cusp ridge. And this is the only premolar with this feature. And so you know it's going to be on the board. So anytime you've got an exception, we got to remember that. And then in addition, the only other tooth that has this feature is the primary maxillary canine. All right. So we're going to switch to the occlusal view now. So there's a long central groove and very few supplemental grooves. All right, so here's where we got to start paying attention. This is going to be the mesial marginal developmental groove and the mesial marginal ridge. So you see a lot of red 